Hampshire Memorial Hospital is proud to share with you the exciting news that our hospital now has magnetic resonance imaging. Every Wednesday, Hampshire Memorial now hosts a mobile MRI machine. The MRI trailer will be parked beside the hospital. Patients needing an MRI no longer have to travel long distances to get this valuable service. MRI services, part of our continuing commitment to provide Hampshire County with the highest quality of medical care possible. Thank you for having us here. My name is Keith Kister and I've been a herpetologist now for about 30 years. I travel all over the country with my reptiles and amphibians. And again, these guys can live up to 100 years. The biggest tortoises, the Aldabra tortoises and the Galapagos tortoises, actually are big enough that you can sit on them and ride. Now, when so I this American school, alligator is three years old, not quite, or four, almost should be four in August actually, so she's older than three, almost four. Yeah. When she's full grown, she'll be between six and nine feet long. Alligators grow very straight adaptation in her mouth is her tongue. Her tongue is attached to her lower jaw. You can see that these guys have some great adaptation for life in the water, the powerful tail to propel themselves partially webbed feet. And even on land, they have some interesting adaptations. They have claws just on their front three toes. They have five toes on the front foot, four on the back, but the toes that point backwards don't have claws so that they don't drag when they're running on the ground. It allows them to move on the ground with a lot less effort. <laughs> this lizard is called a monkey tail. <laughs> this lizard is called a blue tongue. As I said, the monkey tails live in the Solomon Islands, which is a Pacific Island nation. They live up in the rainforest canopy. And they have a very unusual way of reproducing. The monkey tail lizard gives birth to live young. It doesn't lay eggs. It has one baby at a time after an eight month gestation or pregnancy. And that baby when it's born is about two thirds the size of the, of the mother. So it's a very large baby. Oh my God. This is Rocky. Rocky is a Colombian red tail boa. Yes, you can pet him. Red tail boas are found from Argentina all the way north through South America to Mexico. Get a little wrap around me. Warming up by getting more of his body touching the air. Okay. Boa constrictors can live 30 years or more, and 6 to 8 feet is the average adult size, although they'll rarely go more than 10 feet. About 12, 13 feet long. Females, 15 to 20 feet long, very easily. He's about 25 pounds, 22 to 25 pounds. This guy eats large rats and chicken leg quarters. Now this albino coloration, we saw it on the horned frog. This is not a good coloration in the wild because this animal can't hide from <laughs> Tortoises, like all turtles, are on the horse. I said, listen to this. Listen carefully. Everybody, shh. Oh, that hurts my knuckles more than it hurts him, trust me. Did you guys hear how hard that was? So the shell is made out of keratin. Keratin is fingernail material. But it's not just a couple of layers. It's layer over layer over layer over layer over layer of fingernail material. Claws only on the front toes of each foot. She has five toes on the front, four toes on the back. And a powerful tail, which allows her... She is a desert lizard, so she's a little bit cold right now. So she's not going to be moving around very much. She also feels very desert-like or very sandy. Okay. But anyhow, so there's dozens and dozens of those yellow spot lizards coming out and they're crawling all over the actors, right? You remember that? So how do they get those lizards to stay on the actors? Well, first of all, those hot lights are shining down on Wow. 
you know what kind of butterfly that is? It's a monarch. It's a monarch. <laughs> I think about that one. You know? We all sang her happy birthday. <laughs> oh, he got away. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Uh, cannot, like, okay. Hey, you should grab my sweatpants for me. Hey, like, you cannot, like, feel it at all. Container. Really? Yeah, you cannot feel it. Do you like the animals? Yes. It's awesome. Uh, what's your name? My name is Alyssa Summerlin. Uh, what do you, uh, where do you get a skull at? Um, I go to Romney. Do you have a lot of interest in the animals? Do you like to watch animal shows yes. on TV? And stuff yes, like I love animals. Planet. That's what I watch the most. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Whoops, it flew again. Try to get it again. I don't oh, like this one. This one's cool. I'm with some more of the kids here at 4-H camp. What's your name? My name is Annie Holland. Anna Hyatt. Tessum Lady. And how is uh, the week going so far? Well, um, this is my first year and um, I got 4-H because my friends. I really wanted to go to camp. And it's been really fun. It's been a long week though. Because you're staying out here. Yeah, we've been staying up from 7 in the morning to 11 at night. We have dances, food. <laughs> Go around outside. It's really fun. And how about you? What's your favorite part so far? Council circle, like usual, and meeting all the like new kids that's coming around here. And she's my best friend. Her and uh, another person, uh, and Tessa, of course. <laughs> They're just really nice. How about I'm you? good. What's your, uh, what's your favorite part? Well, just meeting new friends and, like she said, council circle and all the dances. Uh, what school do y'all go to? Well, we go to Cambridge. Oh, you? I'm getting ready to go into um, Ron the Middle. Adriana Haynes. And yours? Ashley Mays. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on here with that strap? This week we're charting and it's a book that, about self-discovery and to understand other people's disabilities. We're disabled for the day and we're Siamese twins. So we have to walk around completely connected until 12 o'clock yeah. at lunch. So is it hard to do? Yeah, a lot harder than we thought it was going to be. Really? And what's your favorite part so far? You've been here since Monday uh, of the camp. What's your favorite part? I like meeting all the new people and the little minis running around. Same here. Different experiences every year. It's cool. Okay.